Today's mitzvah is the mitzvah of tzitzit. As we say in the third section of the Shema, Vasu lahem tzitzit, they should make for themselves tzitzit. The mitzvah is that any four-cornered garment, one has to place on it the fringes, the tzitzit. It used to be that people would commonly wear garments which happen to anyway have four corners, like a cloak. Nowadays, that this is less common, so instead there we make there are made specially designed tzitzit for people to be able to fulfill this mitzvah. The way the mitzvah is supposed to be done is, as we say in the third section of the Shema, v'natnu al tzitzit hakanaf betil techelet, that you should place on the corner, on the fringe, a blue techelet thread, that on each one of the four fringes there should be one thread that is made out of blue, techelet. Nowadays, most are of the opinion that we're not exactly sure where to get this blue techelet ink from, and, but since the blue doesn't prevent us from being able to do the mitzvah, so instead we just do it all in white. So the way the mitzvah is done is that on each one of the four corners there should be four white strings. These white strings are doubled over, so they appear to be eight, and then they are tied with five knots and between each one of the five knots there are also windings like loops in between each one of them. There are two types of tzitzit, what are referred to are known as talit katan and talit gadol. It means the small cloak, the small talit and the big talit. There are different customs when to begin wearing a talit gadol. Some do it from bar mitzvah, some do it from when after they get married, those that are just wearing a talit katan, so they make the blessing just on the talit katan, al mitzvah tzitzit, and then they give it a kiss. When wearing the talit gadol, so then one just makes a blessing on talit gadol, and one has in mind at the time that this blessing should also apply for the talit katan. I'm just going to run through quickly exactly how a talit gadol is supposed to be put on. So the first thing is we have the talit gadol folded over our shoulder and we check, we hold the strings in our hand and we check to make sure that all the strings are there because if some are missing it could make it not kosher. We also make sure that they're not tangled or mixed up together. If they are then we first untangle them. Afterwards we unwrap the talit, we place it over our head, over here, and then we make the blessing Baruch Atah Hashem Elokeinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddushanu Memitzotav V'Tzivanu Lehit Atef Batzitzit which means to wrap ourselves with the tzitzit. After that, we take the left side, the top left and the bottom left, the tzitzit, we hold them in our left hand and we hold it by our heart over here. And then we take the right ones, the top right and the bottom right, we hold the strings and we throw it behind our shoulder. So again we have the talit, the top of the talit over here, and then we are completely wrapped around holding the, the tzitzit, the left ones here and the right ones here around our left shoulder. And then we wait a few seconds and we have in mind that this is when Hashem is, we're being wrapped by a mitzvah, being wrapped by Hashem and we are completely surrounded with the holiness and after waiting a few seconds then we place it on our on our shoulder and that is how we daven. There are also times during the prayers where it's customary to kiss the tzitzit when we say the Shema in the third section when saying each time we mention the word tzitzit it's customary to take the strings and to give it a kiss.